The 4 triple two YouTube, you know how much I love it, I know how much you love it. One of the best formations on FIFA 23, without any shadow of a doubt. I know I say that about a lot of the formations that I talk about, but let's be real. The 4 triple two really is one of the best formations on the game. But before we get into the custom tactics, drop a like on today's video for me. Let's see if we can smash 200 likes out of the park. Drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. So we are on the road to glory. The key thing with the 4 triple two, by the way is having two really good, competent strikers. They're probably the most important players on the pitch in the 4 triple 2 So on the RTG, we have got Harry Kane and Lewandowski that we got red from our rank 1 La Liga team of the season rewards. We've got Lewandowski, Modric and Ter Stegen. That's really the key point with the 4 triple 2 getting it right up front. So on the defensive style YouTube, you are going to want to play balanced, okay? Your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins. Please do check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. You should go wolf at a checkout for 5% off your order. So then, YouTube, you are going to want to use balance on the 4 triple 2 Now, I would stay well away. Like I say in a lot of videos, I would stay well away from press after possession loss and pressure on every touch. The reason being... Especially with team of the season here now, a lot of the cards people are using, like, I don't know whether you agree, in foot champs, everybody you play has an absolute stacked team. And I mean, like, stacked, stacked, stacked beyond belief. So I would stay away from the press after possession loss and pressure on every touch. It's too easy for you to get caught in behind. So I play balanced. Nice and easy. I like to be in control of where and when my team press the ball. You know, I like to be in control of that. If I want to press my opponent, I will manually with second man press and stuff like that. If I want to push my defensive line up a little bit, I can do that myself manually as well. So I stick with balance. The width has now changed on the 4 triple 2 YouTube. Okay, so it is now actually on 40 on the defensive width. Now, the reason being is because I do play a little bit of a higher depth. So I kind of need to like counteract the higher depth that I do play because we are allowed to play a higher depth in the 4 triple 2 we do have the two CDMs but to counteract that just to leave us not so open at the back we do then play a lower defensive with basically my left back will be a lot closer to my centre back my right back will be a lot closer to my centre back will be a lot more of a compact four the left the lamb and the ram will tuck in as well the two CDMs won't be too far away from your centre backs basically just makes you harder to break down really so that's why I play the 40 on the width. And remember, because we're then up in the depth, right the way up to 60 now, you kind of want to counteract that a little bit. And the 40 width really does do that. And that brings us nicely onto the 60 depth. Basically, with the 4 triple 2, like with the 4 2 3 1, the fact that we've got two CDMs means we can afford to be a little more aggressive with pushing our defensive line up. Because rather than the normal midfield, is midfield two that we would normally have, whether it be in like a, a 3 4 2 1 or a 4 3 2 1, where it's a flat three across the midfield, or a 4 4 2 where it's a flat two across the middle, with the 4 triple 2 and the 4 2 3 1, it really gives us that defensive solidity with the two CDMs. It really, 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 really is nice. So, Definitely something I would recommend doing, but, and there is a but, if you struggle defensively, just lower it down ever so slightly to 55 on the defensive depth. Probably won't notice too much of a difference, but it might make you just that little more defensively solid. But I like to be a little more aggressive, giving us that two CDMs, affords us that little bit of leeway with making it go wrong. Of course then, YouTube, on the offence, it is going to be bad to die pass, and it's never going to be anything different. Although, I've been telling you guys... Or women, I've been telling you people, that's probably the better way to put it. I've been telling you people, if you are a male or a female that watches me, long ball does work. Definitely, I, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not too against the old long ball, you know. Long ball work, long ball's good. So definitely maybe something that you can look at doing is long ball. Like, it definitely, definitely, definitely works. So maybe give it a go and see what you think, see if you like it. But for me, it is balance of diet passing. I really, 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 really like that. Now, the offensive width YouTube, I have now actually changed that to 45. Basically, I want my Lamb and my Ram to be ever so slightly closer to my two strikers. Ever so slightly closer and not so much where they're hugging the touchline. Basically, if any of you know Unai Emery, the manager of my beloved Aston Villa, he plays with a very narrow midfield. This formation is actually basically what Unai Emery plays at Aston Villa, the 4 triple 2 So, I like that. The Lamb and the Ram being in better positions to pick the ball up centrally means that we can hurt our opponent a lot more. Six players in the box. Yes, you guessed it. No real method to that madness, though, YouTube. I would just say the more players in the box, more likely you are to score a goal. Like You're more likely to get the ball with land at your feet from a rebound and stuff like that. Really, it's just a simple way that I look at it. Two corners and two free kicks, of course. So... 
That's the custom tactics done and finito. This is how my team on my road to glory is set up in the 4 triple 2 Kane and Lewandowski up front. Saka as the lamb. St. Max or Gucci Gang as the ram. Although I don't really like St. Max. He's crap. Odegaard and Luka Modric. Two CDMs. The back four. Pretty obvious. So... The player instructions, this is probably the most important part of the 4 triple 2 Now, stay central is the first thing you're going to want to put on both the strikers, okay? So stay central, straight off the bat, put it on stay central, okay? But like, just, just trust me, put it on stay central, it will help. The next thing you're going to want to do is put them on getting behind. Now, even though they are both on getting behind, even, they will make that running behind, and they will, but you don't have to necessarily pass them the ball, okay? Because... Because they're both on getting behind, my Harry Kane and Lewandowski, both on lengthy, will make a lot of runs in behind. So even if I don't play the ball to them, think of the space that that then creates in the middle of the pitch, in that number 10 area, which, because we've then lowered the offensive width, my Lamb and my Ram are more likely to take up positions in. See, there is logic to this, okay? There is logic. So that's why they're on stay central and getting behind. And last but not least, the comeback on defence is actually, even though you might think of it as a defensive move, it's actually an offensive move. Basically, I never, ever, ever like this gap between my two strikers and two CDMs. I've always hated it on the 4 triple 2 Always, always, always hated it. So, uh, we want to close that gap off as much as we can but to make, like, easier passes. So, if we're with our CDMs, we've got easier passes up to our strikers. We've got easier passes up to our lambs and our rams. That's why we have the striker and come back on defence. Because imagine it's like that. Like, that's someone normal, that's someone stay forward, that's someone come back. You see that gap nice and tight, easier to then attack with. There is method. Come back on defence and stay on the edge of the... Oh, no, the, both of them should be on stay on the edge. And stay on the edge of the box for cross on my Lama Moran. Basically, I leave them there for the Travellers. And if you don't use Travellers... I would recommend putting them both on getting to the box for cross. So I'm really abusing the Traveller meta at the minute. So I'm like getting the ball on the edge of the box, Travellering it into the top corner with the loopy animation. If you don't do that, if you're someone that's really not asked about doing that, put both of them on getting to the box for cross. Just, just to create more madness in your opponent's box, more likely to score a goal, right? Now the two CDMs, again, this is where you need to use a little bit of your own initiative. So I have both of my CDMs on completely balanced settings, but I then put them on cover centre. So, both my Odegaard and my Luka Modric will push forward ever so slightly. They won't completely go all the way up to the two strikers, but they will push forward up towards my attackers and help out in the attacking third. If you're someone that struggles defensively, put the more defensive-minded CDM on stay back while attacking. So, for example, if that's probably going to be my Luka Modric out of Odegaard and Modric, he would then be the one that goes on stay back while attacking. But I don't use that. I have them both on balanced. Helps out with the attacking play. And then, last but not least, YouTube. Both my left back and my right back are on stay back while attacking. I don't use them to attack at all. And then, last but not least, YouTube. My goalkeeper comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So, they're the four triple two custom tactics. Let me know in the comment section down below how you did get on with them. And if there's any other formations you would want me to try out and drop a tactics video on. But please, drop a like on the video for me. Let's smash 200 likes. And hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love of positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.